Leaders from Jammu and Kashmir have reached the Prime Minister's seven Lok Kalyan Mar residents for this very important Jammu and Kashmir outreach meeting that's set to begin in just about three minutes from now. What we are also being told is this is a mega outreach to leaders both in Jammu and in Kashmir. Farooq Abdullah, former chief minister of the erstwhile state of Jammu and Kashmir. Mehwa Mufti, former chief minister. Omar Abdullah, former chief minister. Let's listen into Farooq Abdullah. Let's listen to 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 Farooq Abdullah. मैं मीटिंग की तरफ जा रहा हूँ। तो क्या डिमांड्स हैं आपके? पिक्चर रखें इसको। डिमांड हम वहाँ रखेंगे, उसके बाद आपसे बात करें। लेकिन बाबा जी ने कहा कि पाकिस्तान से बात बैठने जानी चाहिए क्या आप इस बात से सहमत हैं सर? बर्तर पीछे भाई। तो महबूबा जी के महबूबा जी प्रेसिडेंट हैं अपनी पार्टी के। उनको हक है जो बोलने का। मैं उसके बारे में क्यों कहूँ? तो उन्होंने कहा मैं क्यों कहूँ? आपकी एजेंडा क्या है? मेरा जो एजेंडा है मैं वहाँ से बात करके आपको बताऊँ। So when he was speaking exclusively to India Today's Ashok Singhal, Farooq Abdullah said, चाहते तो हम आसमान हैं, लेकिन हम प्रधानमंत्री को सुनेंगे और अपनी बात कहेंगे। that's critical. They will, all the leaders of Jammu and Kashmir, there are 14 leaders who will hear the Prime Minister, they'll hear the government about achievements post the Jammu and Kashmir Reorganization Act of 5th of August 2019, where the special status of Jammu and Kashmir was scrapped and two union territories were carved out, Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh. Well, these leaders, at least the People's Alliance uh, of Gupkar Alliance, People's um, PAGD, they want the restoration of Article 370 and 35A, whereas leaders from Jammu say they will be talking about development and an equal stay. So the Prime Minister in about a minute and 42 seconds from now will be holding this extremely important meeting. 14 leaders from Jammu and Kashmir have been invited. They've reached the venue for talks. Their demands include the restoration of Article 370 and elections, including, in the, including while restoring the statehood of Jammu and Kashmir. Union Home Minister Amit Shah, Union Minister of State in the Prime Minister's Office, Dr. Jitendra Singh and the Lieutenant Governor, Manoj Sinha, are also likely to be a part of this meeting. And this is the first such exercise after the special status of Jammu and Kashmir was withdrawn on the 5th of August 2019. <laughs> So look at this situation. Who are the leaders who are here? Farooq Abdullah, Omar Abdullah, Ghulam Nabi Azad, Mehbooba Mufti, Muzaffar Hussain Beg, Yusuf Tarigami, Altaf Bukhari, Sajjad Lone, G.A. Meer, Nirmal Singh, Kavindra Gupta, Tara Chand, Ravinder Rena, and Professor Bheem Singh. So while there is a dialogue from, with leaders from Jammu and Kashmir, there is also the center talking about development activities that are now taking place in Jammu and Kashmir, activities that could not take place because of that special status that Jammu and Kashmir enjoyed. I quickly want to cut across to India Today's Pooja Shali for more and Pooja. This could well be seen as a new dawn in the relationship between the center and the erstwhile state of Jammu and Kashmir. Gaurav, in just a short while, that very crucial meeting is all set to begin. It is definitely a big opportunity since 2019, the first meeting. But what precisely could be the highlight? One, 
न्यू टेम्पलेट फॉर पीसफुल जम्मू एंड कश्मीर पॉलिटिक्स एंड टू ब्लड शेड एंड वायलेंस न्यू गवर्नेंस अनफिनिश्ड एसिमिलेशन ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर स्पेसिफिकली विद रिगार्ड टू जम्मू गेटिंग मोर सीट्स दैन अर्लियर न्यू स्ट्रक्चर्स फॉर जे एंड के गवर्नेंस कुद देर बी अ न्यू स्ट्रैटेजी इन द माइंड ऑफ मोदी गवर्नमेंट टू पुट फॉर्थ पर हैव्स द सेम कंटेंडर्स बट विद अ फ्रेश स्ट्रैटेजी पोटेंशियल टू एंड द लेगेसी सर्कल ऑफ ग्लूम टू पर हैव्स अ न्यू डॉन दैट मोदी गवर्नमेंट रिफर्स टू हैज some meaning with peace to it brand new political foundations for jammu and kashmir political foundation could be new but what will be the faces remember all these kashmiri netas having agreed to come to delhi to meet the prime minister and definitely there could be big agendas over to you gaurav okay so this meeting now starting in moments from now india today's polemi saha joining me polemi is this being looked at uh, as perhaps a new dawn center will hear leaders from jammu and from kashmir and also talk about what the center has been able to achieve after the 5th of august 2019 that's right uh, the center will hear all the political leaders uh, in terms of uh, the issues uh, that they want to put forth uh, before the prime minister and his uh, colleagues who are present in this meeting inside uh, seven lok kalyan marg uh, behind me but also the center is going to put forth its own agenda in terms of uh, the path that it has uh, chalked out for the development and progress of uh, jammu and kashmir in terms of confidence building measures that is going to be very key as far as the center's proposal before these uh, political leaders from jammu and kashmir is concerned of course what we also hear is that the process of delimitation where it stands right now remember that the delimitation commission has sought a year's extension on this exercise uh, in the month of march uh, this year so in terms of where it stands right now what kind of feedback they've got from the ground from the district collectors who have reported back to the deputy election commissioner and uh, to the uh, delimitation commission all of that will be of course uh, conveyed because the center is hoping to create a path of sorts leading to the holding of peaceful assembly elections in jammu and kashmir so this is strictly going to be the center's uh, uh, you know vision as far as this meeting is concerned development in progress confidence building measures on the one side and then of course the process towards holding peaceful assembly elections in jammu and kashmir where delimitation stands right now. remember when the delimitation commission met uh, uh, earlier this year uh, after of course it sought an extension it, out of the five associate members who were part of the commission who were political leaders uh, only two attended and they were from the bjp mosp mo jitendra singh and jugal kishore of the bharatiya janata party dr farooq abdullah hasnan masoodi uh, musadi uh, they did not uh, and uh, you know other members uh, the other three uh, the total three yes. did not attend that meeting only uh, dr jitendra singh and uh, of course shukar kishore attended that meeting so clearly they had a sense of uh, uh, you know uh, there's there's a fracture of sorts uh, that dr farooq abdullah late expressed saying the delimitation is happening as per what has been uh, stated out let me quickly GMK also bring in rahul shrivastav into this conversation polemi because it's extremely important that d word paves the way for the road ahead in jammu and kashmir delimitation that delimitation exercise is currently underway uh, justice ranjana desai and her team they are interacting with all the district collectors and rahul shrivastav what is it that the center hopes to achieve with this exercise and what is the time frame got of uh, what top sources in the government are saying that if an electoral exercise uh, has to be resumed in jammu and kashmir they will have to look at what time it elections can be held now if you look at the next election which is due is uttar pradesh sometime february march now that sources are saying could well be very close to the finalization of a delimitation exercise and that is why an exercise which is closer or along with elections in say gujarat and the other states is a broad timeline that the center could be looking at and what the center is looking for gorav is what is called the regional aspirations in terms of rationalization of significance of reasons as far as the representation in the assembly is concerned and and for that uh, there have been several voices especially from uh, the the jammu region that jammu always has had 
a, a, a rough deal as far as the significance in terms of the electoral representation in the assembly is concerned. And that is one of the key con uh, challenges ahead of the uh, Delimitation Commission is that how to balance the regional aspirations in case people in Kashmir feel that Jammu is game being given a sense of a slight upper hand or an advantage, there could be adverse impact. And that is why it is going to be an extremely tightrope walk for the Delimitation Commission and from there on for the holding of election in Jammu and Kashmir. Very interesting aspects that you raise, uh, rationalization and regional aspirations being met and polemy. This is where Jammu is hoping that they will get more seats because when you look at the current breakup in the 87 seats, you have 46 in Kashmir and 37 in Jammu. Four, of course, in Ladakh. Now, Ladakh is a separate union territory, but does Jammu hope? that it will get the same number of seats when this uh, delimitation commission moves forward with its report. Absolutely. That is the hope that uh, the leaders from uh, Jammu have, in fact, the Jammu region have, in fact, uh, expressed that there will be, as they say, uh, equitable distribution of uh, seats because they do believe that the population in a certain seats of uh, the Jammu region is much, much higher in comparison to seats in uh, Kashmir. And that is why they're hoping that the, you know, the proportion of seats in the distribution uh, that happens as part of the delimitation process. Remember, the process of delimitation aims to take uh, the number of seats in the uh, so, uh, in uh, the future legislative assembly of uh, Jammu and Kashmir from 107, 111, if you counted Ladakh, but minus Ladakh uh, right now, from 107 to 111. So seven more seats are to be uh, uh, you know, uh, created out of uh, the demography of uh, Jammu and uh, Kashmir. So they're hoping that there is better distribution. In fact, very interestingly, uh, some BJP leaders have also pointed to the uh, fact uh, of uh, the number of reserve seats in uh, erstwhile uh, state of Jammu and Kashmir and hope what they hope as per their own calculation after the delimitation process and exercise is completed based on the census of 2001 this is happening. Uh, they hope that that number will go from eight, eight reserve seats for only STs. There were no seats for STs from eight to 25. So that is what they're hoping. And much of these seats are likely to fall in the Jammu region. So uh, that is what they're hoping this delimitation exercise will achieve, Gaurav. Crucial cheat Jammu and Kashmir meeting set to begin at Prime Minister Narendra Modi's residence. Minister of State in the Prime Minister's office, Dr. Jitendra Singh, He's to invite all for this meeting. He will give, uh, he will initially give the welcome note. He's also a member of parliament uh, from Jammu and Kashmir, someone who's been very closely involved in this current exercise. And in this exercise, the effort is to gradually move forward. Biti tahi bisar de. Aage ki sudle. That is the effort. Will that succeed or not remains to be seen. But the fact, Rahul Srivastav, that all the leaders uh, who are invited for this meeting are here from Kashmir and from Jammu. Uh, you know, look at this list. So you have Farooq Abdullah, Omar Abdullah, Gulam Nabi Azad, Mehbuba Mufti, Muzaffar Hussain Beg, Yusuf Tarigami, Altaf Bukhari, Sajjad Lone, G.A. Mir, Nirmal Singh, Kavindra Gupta, Tara Chand, Ravindra Rena, and Professor Bhim Singh. Whoever was invited is here, represent Jammu and Kashmir and voices that believe in the constitution of India. So everyone will speak out, but perhaps focus on the road ahead, Rahul. Yes, Gaurav. The, one of the most striking elements of uh, the troublesome region has been its democratic connect <laughs> to the laws and the constitution of India. And the names that you have cited are those people who have gained a certain constitutional position in the state of Jammu and Kashmir, erstwhile state of Jammu and Kashmir, as laid down by the constitution of India. And that is why after the law of uh, what happened on the 5th of August 2019, when Article 35A was removed and 370 was defanged, uh, uh, it's... It was a virtual breakdown where most of the top leaders, barring somebody like, say, Gulam Nabi Azad, who is from the Congress fold, and Bhim Singh and others, were virtually under house arrest. And in that,
the leaders, it seems, over a period have realized that the terms of engagement, Gaurav, had changed. The terms of engagement prior to 4th, 5th of uh, August 2019 were completely different. Now it's a very different matrix under which Jammu and Kashmir is ruled, in which the center has a huge say. In that scenario, in the changed terms of engagement, these parties have realized that it, the best option out is not pure resistance, but also a democratic resistance and a negotiated resistance. And this is perhaps this spirit of negotiated resistance is, is being shown by, by them that not one of them have said, I'm boycotting. Not one of them said that I would like to stay away because the center is not giving in as an assurance that they are going to discuss our top demand that Article 370, 35A and others should be restored in terms of their constitutional powers as they used to be. And that is why the government sees this window of opportunity. Now, you said that Dr. Jitain Singh is going to make a presentation. Now, in this presentation, Gaurav, I am told that all the benefits that have accrued, the funds that have flown from the center, the kind of gains which have been made in terms of law and order, in terms of assistance and schemes and projects which have been rolled out, all that is going to be rolled out by Dr. Jitendra Singh as an indicator that this is the ground on which we stand today and we can build on it as, uh, as far as a democratic exercise is concerned. There will be no assurance from the government, what we are told as far as statehood is concerned, but the buzz will be, the underline will be that let's move towards what can be an electorally governed Jammu and Kashmir, if not today, but slowly by the end of some time next year. Okay, so that's the time frame you're talking about, that big story that we were just talking about. India today has the inside track of what's going to happen in moments from now at the Prime Minister's residence. Dr. Jitendra Singh to make a brief welcome address as Rahul Srivastava was just telling us will give an outline of all the achievements and then Prime Minister Narendra Modi is to make an opening speech. The Prime Minister will talk about what his government has been able to achieve in Jammu and Kashmir since 5th of August 2019 and what could not be achieved since 15th of August till August 2019. So the huge strides which according to the government have been taken after the defanging of Article 370. Farooq Abdullah is then to make an opening remark on behalf of the People's Alliance for Gupkar Declaration or the PAGD and then other leaders Say, uh, we will be speaking. Delimitation exercise. Now, delimitation exercise that's currently on in Jammu and Kashmir is extremely crucial because this actually paves the way for elections to be held for the Jammu and Kashmir assembly whenever that happens. And the timeline, Polomi, is extremely crucial. Just yesterday, Justice Ranjana uh, Prakash Desai and her team had an interaction with all the district collectors what were they looking at and by when are they likely to submit their report after getting a year-long extension? Now they are, of course, uh, going to have uh, more meetings, you know. Uh, like I said, earlier there was a meeting when the associate uh, members out of the five only two attended that meeting and they were from the Bhati Janta Party. So clearly they're hoping that after this thaw in relations between Uh, since you're so close to the Prime Minister's residence, uh, perhaps jammers at play there. Uh, we'll, get, we'll get to Polami Saha in just a moment. Uh, but Rahul Srivastav, the delimitation exercise. Jammu and Kashmir, are they looking at equality, equal distribution of seats? Uh, there's a new formula that's being looked at, not just population, population density and topography, different from exercises like this in the past? Yes, Gaurav, uh, it has to be, the, the formula has to, uh, as I said earlier, keep in mind the aspirations and the sensibilities and the sensitivities. You see, Kashmir region has always had that slight sense of upper hand as far as the larger uh, legislative politics of Jammu and Kashmir region has been. And in that, any, any drastic equalization 
in terms of seats is not going to become acceptable to the people of Kashmir or the representatives of the people of Kashmir because they will feel that the delimitation exercise has cheated them and that is why that may reduce the level of participation uh, as far as the exercise is concerned. And even if one looks at the broader picture of increase in the number of seats, right now the distance between uh, the seats uh, is, is quite large. And in that scenario, for them to scale up to be Jammu and Kashmir to stand equal in terms of number of seats is going to be a slightly difficult task. And that is why uh, Jammu is definitely going to have a certain increase in the number of seats. But will it be exactly the same as the Kashmir region is, is going to be a very big sensitive point because I think future peace and participation will depend on that. With the Ladakh also, Gaurav, what is very interesting is that if you see in the last two days, there have been statements from uh, legislators in ex-legislators in Ladakh also, and they are saying that Ladakhi should get their own legislative rights. So how uh, Ladakh is going to get addressed, because if there is a delimitation here, Ladakh cannot be completely kept out. Remember, right now, Ladakh is, if not as sensitive, but equally sensitive as uh, J uh, Jammu and Kashmir is concerned, given the fact that what China is doing at the borders of, of Ladakh. And that is why the government has to keep in mind that when they are deciding something about JNK, Ladakh's aspirations have also to be kept in mind. But, you know, Jamia I'm saying Namgyal, the member of parliament uh, of the Bhartiya Janata Party from Ladakh, he's made one thing very clear, Rahul, and that's significant. He says... These leaders from Jammu and Kashmir have no right or authority uh, to talk about Ladakh. Let the Ladakhi leaders talk about Ladakh. Yes, Gaurav, that's a very significant point because the Ladakhis are, are enjoying the very fact that uh, the 5th, 5th of August has gave them that separate identity. Now, identity is a very critical element, uh, Gaurav. You have traveled that area perhaps more than a lot of journalists. Uh, and you see that the regional differences are very stark. And the regional identity is a very, very potent political element there. And when the, the local representative from the BJP is saying, he's basically aligning and justifying what the government did on the 5th of August 2019, that Ladakh was given its own sense of space uh, in terms of uh, geographical, political uh, entity. And they are going to zealously protect that, uh, that, uh, that thing. And that is why they are saying that people of representative of Kashmir, dominantly when people talk about restoration of the pre-5th of August 2019 situation, they are basically saying that Ladakh should remain with the Jammu and Kashmir. But the Ladakhis are not very happy with the idea. Yes. And that is why I say that balancing act between Jammu, Kashmir, and eventually Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh is a very critical element in the coming days till elections are held in Jammu and Kashmir. What is also extremely interesting, Rahul, you brought up this point that Ladakh says leaders of the Gupkar Alliance should not speak for Ladakh. They will speak for themselves. A stunning split in the Gupkar Alliance. They are divided on talks with Pakistan. National Conference patron Farooq Abdullah, he's distanced himself <coughs> from Mehbooba Mufti's comments where she batted for, for dialogue with Pakistan. <laughs> Mehbooba Mufti perhaps may want Pakistan as a stakeholder in peace talks in Kashmir. Farooq Abdullah says that may be PDP's agenda. He has nothing to do with it. He insists that he is not here to talk about dialogue with Pakistan. He only wants to talk to Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Does this actually expose the fissures in People's Alliance for Gupkar Declaration? Rahul, is that a question to me? Rahul, give me a moment. I want our viewers to listen in both to Mehbubha Mufti and to Farooq Abdullah. He's a very, very seasoned politician. And Farooq Abdullah says, Talking to Pakistan, maybe Mehbooba Mufti's agenda, that's not his agenda, that's not the People's Alliance for Gupkar Declaration's agenda. Sudar ne is khite mein amun lana hai. Na sirf Jammu Kashmiri hamare mulk ke andar, balki pure khite mein to iske bagheer koi chara nahi hai. For something clear kar diya, no compromise. No compromise on that, aur dialogue ki baat, hum se dialogue kar rahe hai. 
हम कहते हैं कि ये दोहा जाके तालिबान से डायलॉग कर रहे हैं आपने सुना होगा हमारी गवर्नमेंट तो जम्मू कश्मीर में डायलॉग करे और सबके साथ करे और पाकिस्तान के साथ भी करे रेजोल्यूशन के लिए फारूक साहब महबूब मुफ्ती ने कहा कि पाकिस्तान से बात होनी चाहिए धारा तीन सौ सत्रह आप ही का गठबंधन तो है देखिए जहाँ तक इंडिविजुअल का सवाल है वो एक पार्टी की लीडर है वो पार्टी की बात करती है उसमें मैं कुछ नहीं कह सकता क्योंकि उनका एजेंडा अपना है मेरा एजेंडा अपना है दोनों पार्टीज हैं और कोई ऐसी बात नहीं है पाकिस्तान की बात लाना बीच में इस मौके पर क्या ठीक आपको लगता है ऐसे मौके पर पाकिस्तान की बात नहीं लाना मैं, चाहिए मैं पाकिस्तान वगैरह की बात नहीं करना चाहता मुझे अपने वतन से बात करनी है अपने वतन के प्राइम मिनिस्टर से बात करनी है वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एट दिस स्टेज इज टू फाइंड आउट द बिग क्वेश्चन do gupkar alliance members really have an open mind at this stage will gupkar members actually buckle under domestic pressure in pockets of the valley will gupkar members actually look to bring about development work towards a new political template will gupkar see the new template as loss of power this point is extremely critical because the police in jammu and kashmir may just continue to report to the ministry of home affairs it's a border area there is tension with pakistan there is pakistan state sponsored terror so for better coordination between agencies will police and agencies continue to report to the ministry of home affairs and can the narendra modi government align the political will of delhi and the political will in jammu and in kashmir these are extremely important aspects at this point of time of course in jammu there have been protests jammu is saying that we are once again being treated as the country cousins being forced to play second fiddle uh, to kashmir as pdp chief mehbooba mufti insisted on a dialogue